the United States of Africa. Gamal Abdel Nasser had that same vision. Well, I was with Muammar Gaddafi when Gaddafi insert in 1999 advanced coming out of the OAU to the African Union with a vision of the United States of Africa. Muammar Gaddafi spent, listen to me, billions of dollars to create the African Union. Did you know that Gaddafi gave $300 million and the other African nations gave $100 million to put up a satellite so that we who call Africa don't have to go through Europe to get to Africa. And Europe was getting $500 million a year just by our telephone calls to the continent. Now we can call directly to Africa and that $500 million is in the hand of African people. Did you know that Muammar Gaddafi was setting up an African development bank with $70 billion in the African Development Bank from Libyan oil money. That we would not have to borrow money from the IMF and the World Bank at these exorbitant rates. Zero interest under Islamic non-usury teachings. I just left St. Kitts and in the island of St. Kitts, he was going to set up a Caribbean development bank. He told the prime minister there, and he was going to put a billion dollars in that bank for Caribbean development. Why do you think they killed him? You think they killed him because he killed his people? Hell no. They killed him because, listen to me real good, you touched my nerve with that question. <laughs> Did you know that in Libya, nobody's homeless? Listen, everybody in Libya has either a home or an apartment. They call it a flat. Did you know education in Libya is free from kindergarten through college and did you know that if a Libyan wanted to come to America to be educated the government in Libya paid for their education did you know that I was there when he opened a 500 million dollar hospital with 18 uh, theaters for operation I was there and we went when he was making their own medicines. See, this was a man that gave free medical attention to all the citizens of Libya. And if Libya did not offer that kind of medical attention, they could fly anywhere in the world and get it. And the Libyan government would pay for it. Did you know that? No, you didn't. Did you know that from the oil money, every Libyan citizen got a stipend every year? And did you know that that man had no debt? Everything in his country was paid for. See? Now, when you got a man that did that, for an African nation and was trying to do that for all Africa. How do you think Europe felt about 